friends. <laughs> uh, this is Lori from Cruising for Treasure. And I am here to show you what sold uh, this past weekend. So it was a, a decent weekend for me. Um, my sales are down just in general, just because uh, for a good, uh, I guess the last half of October, in the very beginning of November, I didn't really list a lot. These platforms, they love activity. So um, it, we're slowly picking up steam and you know, so whatever. So on eBay, I had 16 sales on Poshmark. Actually, let me uh, refresh Poshmark. I think I had four sales on Poshmark. One, two, three, four sales on Poshmark. Um, I did have a Facebook Marketplace sale um, and then nothing on Mercari. So let's jump right in, shall we? Um, okay, so Poshmark. Let's do Poshmark first. Um, okay, first we have this pair of, now this is not a brand that I typically will pick up. However, it did come to me from an auction lot. So, you know, I'm going to sell it. And it sold for a, a decent price, $24 for these Easy Spirit travel time and they have like the black patent leather and then the nice quilting up there size nine narrow um $24 on Poshmark and you know what I don't remember exactly what I paid so let me look on my little spreadsheet um let's see I paid um and these honestly they sold very quickly uh in less than a week um and I paid a dollar so that's perfect um, a dollar into $24. Absolutely. I will do that. Uh, okay, next, this is a fun one. This is a vintage jerseys sweatshirt and it's Pride in the East 1993. It's horse racing and it is, no it tags. Uh, let's see, it is 1993 and then, oh, it just lists all of the states. That's what forms the outline of the horse. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, and this also came from an online auction and that was $25. I believe I paid about a dollar per item from that lot. Next, uh, okay, this is kind of funny because I sold this on eBay and then I couldn't find it and so I just canceled the order. Well, I didn't realize that I didn't cancel it on Poshmark. And so it sold, but in the meantime, I had found it in a place it was totally not supposed to be. But that's what happens when you have your children putting away your items. They don't always put it away where you think it should go. So anyway, Pure and Good, this is an anthropology brand. Uh, these are tights. They sold for $13, brand new. And that was on Poshmark. And then the last Poshmark sale is shoes. I love... Uh, my first love with eBay is... Um, shoes and accessories and clothing clothing not as much because you have to do a lot of measuring but I sell a lot of clothing but shoes and accessories I really enjoy selling them the return on your investment can just be so good high return rate so you do have to steal yourself for that but as long as you're selling things in good condition they can return them for fit because you're going to be able to turn right around and sell them again uh, so this is a pair of Ann Taylor black suede pumps and then they have uh, that block heel with the lovely leopard print on it. And these are size eight medium, just such a gorgeous classic shoe in very good condition. And they sold for $17. I want to say that I got these also from an online auction, but let me just verify that. And they sold really quickly. I actually had to uh, delete them very quickly because I had interest on Poshmark and eBay at the same time. Uh, so yes, they were listed this month on Poshmark and eBay and I paid a dollar. So this is why I love online auctions. I can't, I mean, that's just what it is. I can source things for such a good price and then my ROI is just fantastic. So, uh, all right, we're going to go through the postcards that I sold this weekend. I sold four. So let me show you. The first one is uh, above San Francisco. This is Golden Gate Bridge. It was posted, so it was written on the back, has the canceled stamp. 
and let's see, I believe it should be oriented this way. This sold full price for $4.99. If you can source your postcards low enough, you can really do really well. They just take so little time to list. Uh, this is di a business district in Hastings, Nebraska. I did sell this for best offer of $4. This was posted in 1981, so it does have the canceled stamp in the back. I do believe that the postcard itself is much older than 1981. It feels like a linen postcard, even though it's kind of been worn down, so it doesn't have exactly the feel of a linen postcard. But uh, there's no date on it, so there's no way really for me to know for sure. Um, let's see, I have two more postcards. This one is Historic Big Spring in Texas. This sold full price for $4.99. Again, it was posted, so it has a canceled stamp on the back. And uh, $4.99. The interesting thing is three of my four postcards sold within a day or so of listing them, which is tremendous. This one, not so much. I listed this earlier this year, but this is Beaver's Bend State Park in Oklahoma, and this sold for $3. Someone sent me an offer. This is unposted, so no canceled stamp on the back. And if you have any questions about postcards, leave them in the comments below. I do thoroughly enjoy selling them. It's, it's fun for me. Uh, let's see. I have a piece of vintage sheet music, which is awesome. I love getting these out the door. It's been a little while since I've sold one. This is I've Got My Love to Keep Me Warm, Irving Berlin. This sold for $5. A while ago, I got several lots of vintage sheet music from an online auction. So you have to figure I paid five, 10 cents, maybe 25 cents a piece. And they just sell every once in a while. So that one sold for $5 plus shipping. Um, okay, so let's see. Next is this item. This is soft surroundings, but to me, it's not their normal style. So I think maybe that's why it took forever to sell. It is very cool, but it's just not a typical soft surroundings. So it's a blazer and it's got this wool herringbone pattern to the fabric and then this overlaid uh, embroidered curly Q things all over. So this sold for $29.99. And I do not, let me see, I don't know exactly what I paid for this. So let me look that up on my spreadsheet. Uh, let's see, do de do. How long ago did I get this? Okay, so this was $5. I paid $5. And it has been listed for almost two years. And I bought this when I went to Richmond, Virginia for when our new governor was inaugurated, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that was two years ago and $5 and it sold for 30. So not fantastic, but not horrendous either. All right, uh, we have Lululemon. This is a Swiftly Tech shirt. Uh, this way it goes and this sold uh, offer to watcher for $25 happy to see that go I believe I got that one at Savers let me just check on that uh, let's see yes I did pay six dollars and fifty cents it was listed just at the beginning of this month oh I got it at Goodwill oh that's right I went to Goodwill one time and they had brought out a rack and my Goodwill does allow you to shop the racks. And so I shopped the racks and was able to get several Lululemon and Patagonia pieces. So now while neither of those brands is quite as phenomenal a find as it was, as they were before, uh, it's still, you know, no slouch. So $25, not too shabby. And let's see, this is a new with tags vintage, uh, John St. John sweater. It does have the zip in the back and uh, really nice color. This sold for uh, $55. I will tell you uh, St. John takes so long to sell and to be honest it always has taken me so long to sell St. John. In fact 
uh, many times I will just send it to Real Real if I find it because uh, it just takes too long. And I did only pay $2 for this, but like I said, it was listed in July of 2022. So that's, that's a long time. And I did get that from an online auction, paid $2. So $2 into $55, that is pretty great. I love that a lot. Uh, let's see, next is a pair of Clark's boots. These are uh, the Everlay style and these sold for $35. They just show very little wear. I, I'm not sure, well, I do think on the bottom, they, they probably were worn a little bit, but the leather really is just absolutely gorgeous. These were size nine and a half, sold for $35. And I'm pretty sure this is a recent auction pickup. I want to say I even got it in the same auction as those Easy Spirit or Easy Street, whatever, what are, what were they? Uh, $2 and yes, the Easy Spirit. Yeah, they did come from the same au auction. $2, they were listed less than a week ago and just sold so fast, which is incredible. It does not always happen that way with shoes, I'm just going to say. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a fun one. So I picked this up at a store. Oh, so this store, it's a, it's a chain, but it's a local chain just in my area. It benefits, uh, the hospice, one of the hospices. And so it's so expensive. They think that they're a boutique or something. They price their stuff so high. So you really, the only, their only saving grace is they do run a sale where, they have three different tags that are at graduated markdown. So this tag is 25% off, this tag is 50% off, and this tag is 75% off. So if you shop specifically looking for those tags, then you can find some things. And I just don't go out of my way to go to those stores because there's no guarantee that you're gonna find anything in your, you know, that's worthy of flipping. This was a fun find though. This was Coach. Um, it's got, still has the tag on it, and then it has, uh, this is a fob, so it's got the gold star on there. And I sold this for $15. I believe they were asking 10, but let me check because I don't remember exactly. I don't want to say something that is wrong. Um, they had it priced at $5. So I paid $1.25 and it's been listed less than a month, so that's awesome. And it doesn't have a retail price on there, so I don't know what, does that mean it came from their factory outlet? I don't know. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no price tag, uh, like manufacturer price on there. Anyway, $1.25 into $15 in less than a month. I'll take it. So cute, I love it. All right, moving on. Okay, this one, <clears throat> is actually uh, already packaged up and in the garage because I had a, I, I sold it months ago and then the buyer canceled before I had it shipped. So I was like, you know what? It, this is so difficult to package. I'm just gonna leave it in the garage all packaged and then it will sell again and I'll just ship it out. So it did sell. Let me just show you because obviously I'm not going to unwrap it for you. But this is what it is. Can you see that? It is a blow mold, although it's not, they call it a blow mold, but it's really quite fragile. It, the plastic is very thin. It's not like a thick plastic. And anyway, it's from the 1950s <clears throat> and it sold for $85. I picked it up from an online auction. I got a set. Of, I got two of them that were very similar. The other one sold last year, uh, or earlier this year in January, I guess, uh, for well over a hundred dollars, maybe even two hundred dollars. Uh, so this one was not as valuable. Sold for eighty-five. I do believe I paid fifteen or something like that. Uh, so anyway, eighty-five dollars. Happy to see that one go. And um, okay, I'm just realizing that my daughter did not find quite everything. So that's not cool. Sadness. Uh, okay, I'll show you the rest of what I have that she pulled. Um, okay, this is a package of vintage underwear and this is bottoms up bikinis and it's got some great graphics on there from, you know, whenever this was made. 
and this sold full price for $24.50. This came from my Hoarder House haul, which you can watch all of those videos, super fun to watch. And everything in that, in those videos came to me free of charge. So this is pure profit. And I love selling all of these things. They just are doing really well for me. And I'm kind of running out of my Hoarder House items. Okay, let's see. I got this. <clears throat> I got this from Goodwill for four or five dollars and it's Cards Against Humanity. It's the 100th anniversary edition. Now when it sold it was actually in a much larger package like a black box or something uh, which if it had all of that it would be worth like a hundred dollars but it didn't. It just came like this. It is still sealed so that is good. Uh, I listed this for fifty dollars and it sold very quickly. So four or five dollars into fifty dollars very quickly. Absolutely. We love that all day every day. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you the other things that sold that my daughter did not grab. Um, and I'm just looking around here to make sure it's not sitting anywhere. Okay, I don't see it. Uh, okay, so it's one of them. One of the items is a pair of Athleta Farallon joggers that sold for $15. They were green size large. And I got those in a lot from an online auction. I paid about a dollar, two dollars each item in that lot. And then the another item was a pair of pig suede pants. Uh, the brand is Yanzi Fugal. And uh, though they were black and they sold for $25. Now I did have them priced at like 50 or something or 40, I don't know. Somebody sent me the offer. I have had them for a while. I actually picked them up on one of our pickup and coffee shows that was in Alexandria. And yeah, they've been listed since February. I paid $4. So they sold them for $25. I accepted her offer, no problem. And the cool thing was we went into that thrift store, um, my husband and I, and they had a lot of their clothing for like 50% off. So that's what those pants were, $4. Okay, and then I sold a book, a Better Homes and Gardens uh, garden book. Uh, let's see, that was from 1954. It was a five ring binder that sold for $7. So nothing super crazy with that. Um, okay, so I showed you everything. Oh, so also another item that I could not find that my daughter put away, but I cannot find it is a Facebook sale that was a vintage Baltimore Orioles satin uh, jacket with the snap front and everything. Really cool. And let me see, what did I, I think I sold that for 20 some dollars. Um, that sold on Facebook Marketplace to a buyer in Baltimore, uh, which is really cool to me, uh, $30. So, Anyway, that uh, that was fun. That came also from an online auction. I think I paid $5 for it. So that's what I have going out the door today. And uh, obviously this week is gonna be a shortened selling week because of the holidays, but I did start a sale going in my store. I've already sold two items from it. So I'm really excited about that. So hopefully we'll see a huge amount of sales. That would just be amazing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome, holiday week. Make sure you hit my like and subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time.